Food Baby, I love food and I know that you love food too. Today I have the Barista Creations from Nespresso. I don't have a machine myself, but I know people who have and I've tried like maybe three or four times Nespresso coffee. It was quite nice, I have to say, but only pure, not with milk. But today these Barista Creations, we will do them as suggested by Nespresso. And there are three kinds. I will show you the first one. So we have the Chiaro, Scuro and Corto. And I'll open up the first one here. So there we have the capsule. I'll make it and I'll be right back. And we are back with the Chiaro. So there it is. Looks quite nice. One capsule. And smells very caramel-like. Not bad, I have to say. But the taste is the most important. Mm -hmm. Quite mild, definitely caramel notes. It's Saturday today, but outside quite, yeah, the party going on there. Many people walking around, buying stuff. It's not bad. It's very, very mild. So maybe a bit less milk, but I would say it is enjoyable. So I would give the Nespresso Chiaro 72 points. I think it can get even better, but this might be the first Nespresso with milk that I would drink regularly. There you go. And now let's open up the next one, the Scudo. So there's the capsule. The first one was more like a Latte Macchiato and the next one will be more like a Cappuccino. So stay tuned. We are back with the Scudo. There it is. So the first one, quite a success. Here, I'm not getting caramel notes necessarily, but let's give it a try. Oh, much, much darker, for sure. Mm, it's something like a spice, more or less. Very interesting. I don't think for every day, but I can't quite place it, I know the taste, but very dominant. It almost goes a bit in the direction of gin spice, weirdly enough. Maybe pepper, something like this. Hmm. Quite strong, much more strong than I expected. One more sip. So I think this one doesn't really work with milk for me, maybe pure as an espresso, but um, yeah, interesting. Maybe you have to figure out, do more variations in order to know what's good. I would give the Scuro from Nespresso 61 points. And now we got the last one, the Corto. There is the capsule. It's much more strong and dark, so we'll make an Espresso Macchiato. I'll be right back. There we go, we are back with the Corto. Espresso Macchiato, one of my favorite styles of coffee. I'm psyched. Oh, very strong aroma, dark, roasted rich beans. Let's go. Oh, mm -hmm. a bit fruity, but very dark and yeah, very aromatic. Yeah, that's pretty good espresso macchiato, I would say. I would not complain if I got this like in an Italian coffee place. Very nice. Yeah, maybe a bit one dimensional overall, but still pretty good. I would give it 73 points. And there you go guys, that's it for the day. These were the barista creations from Nespresso. As I said, I'm not very experienced, but quite cool coffee and yeah, certainly worth trying out once at least. But overall, of course, when you have a nice coffee machine at a nice Italian coffee place, it's unmatched. But still, for home purposes, this is not bad at all. There you go. I hope you liked it. 
and now I'll start my day. So comment, like or dislike, subscribe of course to my channel, ring the bell. See ya.